Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the process of neural integration. Dear students, you know that neurons in the brain receive thousands of sensory inputs from other neurons. The brain cells, before the generation of an output, add up these inputs through a process which is called neural integration. The neural integration occurs in uh, through two processes. First pattern is the temporal summation and second pattern of neural integration is spatial summation. First we shall discuss the temporal summation. Temporal summation may jab do excited tree post synaptic potentials jo ek single synapse par ek rapid succession mein yani bari bari upar niche receive hote hain post synaptic neuron ki membrane par aur as a result post synaptic membrane mein jo potential produce hota hai jab pehla uh, pehle wala excited tree post synaptic potential produce hota hai ya receive hota hai to as a result membrane potential change hota hai abhi wo membrane potential apni normal range par nahi gaya ke isi dauran mein dusra excitatory postsynaptic potential bhi receive ho jata hai to result iska ye hai ke dono excitatory postsynaptic potentials ko brain ka cell yani brain ka neuron sum up add up kar leta hai this is known as temporal summation yani do successive excitatory postsynaptic potentials ko एड कर लेना ऐसा क्यों होता है इसकी वजह यह है कि वेन ए प्री सेनेप्टिक टर्मिनल फायर एज ए रिजल्ट इट रिलीज इज न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर दैट प्रोड्यूस इज एक्साइटेटी पोस्टनेप्टिक पोटेंशियल दिस एक्साइटेटी पोस्टनेप्टिक पोटेंशियल ओपन दी मेम्ब्रेन चैनल जस्ट फॉर ए मिली सेकेंड एज ए रिजल्ट पोस्टनेप्टिक पोटेंशियल इज प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट lasts for up to 15 milliseconds agar un 15 milliseconds se pehle ek aur excitatory postsynaptic potential produce ho jata hai ya receive ho jata hai to as a result channel open again pehla postsynaptic potential abhi jari hai uske 15 seconds 15 milliseconds pure nahi hue dusre wala postsynaptic potential usme add ho jayega natija temporal summation hogi The second pattern of summation is the spatial summation. That is distance-wise summation. The excitatory postsynaptic potentials produced at different regions of the membrane of the neuron can also be added up, and such an addition is called spatial summation. we shall explain spatial summation in detail when a single post synaptic potential is received or produced by a neuron it is very small it is about 0.5 to 1 millivolt so if the membrane of the neuron is receiving an other excitatory post synaptic potential at another site of its membrane then the cell should have the capacity to add up these two because to produce a postsynaptic potential in response requires at least an excitatory postsynaptic potential of 10 to 20 millivolt so to provide this amount of epsp many presynaptic terminals are stimulated at the same time and their effects are summated such a summation that if the stimulus is spread specially on the soma they can be added up and this addition can cause excitation and produce the post synaptic potential and as a result response by the uh, brain cell neuron dear students 
submission is a significant phenomena. Due to this submission, the postsynaptic potential becomes much higher. That ensures that the output action potential is produced that is able to generate response. 